this one. I'm not sure if you are. Hey. Yeah, 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 American song in African style. Yeah, just a bit you. No other God can be called a father. No other God can be called a friend. No other God can be called redeemer. No other You 
worked your great thing. You have done your testimony great tonight. Is that your testimony this morning? Is that your testimony this afternoon? You have done great for me, for us, for everyone here in us. You We still have joy, we still have 
great, greatly to be praised. Let your name be lifted in this place. Let the name of Jesus reign. You are great, greatly to be praised. You are the great. To be praised, let your name be lifted in this place. Let the name of Jesus reign. Let the name of Jesus reign. Let the name of Jesus. probably seen the flyer and the team says I but I still I still have joy 
Yes, we still have joy because he is the holy God. He is the holy God that we know. You know, you know, we are in the month of December and normally at a time like this, a lot of people begin to take stock of their lives, take stock of their achievements in the year. And while taking stock, you now start seeing that people start feeling bad. Some start feeling disappointed that, oh, I had plans. I had this expectation that I was going to achieve this this year. Now I just have a few days to the end of the year. The expectation has not been met and so because of that you still you see people start becoming downcast start becoming unsure start becoming sorrowful but tonight we're here this afternoon we're here this morning whatever your time zone we're here to tell you that once you place God in front of you and you declare him that he's the only God that you know and you don't make your expectations your God you will receive joy instead let me repeat that. You know, I was sitting down and this analogy just came to me. It was more like a picture. And I saw like somebody dropping down their expectation before God. And in place of the expectation, by the time the person was standing up, the person was standing up with joy in their hand. So to this afternoon, this night, this morning, whatever the time zone is, in the presence of God right now, we want you to declare that God is the only God. We don't want, we want you to place your expectation, you know, whatever expectation you've had for 2023, we want you to place it before God. And instead of you rising up with that expectation that has given you so much anxiety and you're worried about, we want you to pick up joy instead. So there's going to be an exchange in the presence of God this afternoon, okay? We are declaring that God is the holy God that we know. We are not making those expectations that have not been met our God. Because unfortunately that's what has happened. Some people have made their expectations their God to the point that they are now worshipping that expectation in them and they find it difficult to worship the only living God. And as a result of this, instead of having joy that God is ready to give to them, they are having anxiety, they are having depression, they are having sorrow. But that's not what God has for you and I. God has for us joy. There's something I want you to know in Proverbs chapter 10 verse 28 the common English Bible translation it says the expectation of the righteous results in joy so what God actually wants for you and I is that our expectations will result in joy not that our expectations will result in anxiety or depression there's nothing wrong in you having expectations okay but what God desires is that those expectations that you have will result in joy you know, one thing I want you to know is that God never promised you and I that all our expectations will be met. He didn't make that promise. What he said to us in Proverbs chapter 23 verse 18 was that our expectation will not be cut off. Do you know what that means? What he, made, what he promised was that our expectation will not be cut off. What he promised was that, you know, we know like for instance in, in, um, in other nations that they are still using electricity that they cut off and stuff like that. When the supply cuts off, you know, that means there'll be no electricity at that time. You know, when you say you cut off something, you remove something. So invariably what God was saying is that you're, you will not be disappointed. He didn't say that all your expectations will be met. But what he's saying that, yes, it's good to have expectation, but just know that at the end of the day, you will not be disappointed. But that doesn't mean that all your expectations that you have, your heart will be met. And the reason why he's not meeting all our expectations is clearly written in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. The Bible says, many plans are in the man's heart, but the purpose of the Lord will prevail. So many have the expectations in our hearts. Many are the expectations that we have for 2023. But above all, it's his purpose that will prevail. And why is it that the purpose of the Lord will prevail? It's because the Lord loves you. The Lord loves me. The Bible makes us know that all things are working together for good. For those who love God and are called according to his purpose. So because you love God and you have chosen to remain in his purpose, he will only allow those expectations that are in line with his purpose to come to reality. So I'm just here to tell you that I don't know what expectations you are still having and you're feeling bad about it. Perhaps it is not in the will of God for you. Perhaps it's not in his purpose for your life. Okay? So that should not make you lose your joy. Instead, you should recognize that God is the only God you have. You should recognize the fact that having God is what gives you joy and you hold on to that promise that you have God, you have everything. 
God is not telling us to dismiss our expectations. He's not telling us not to have expectation. But he's also using this opportunity to remind you that some expectations may not be met. Not because he's not a God that does not answer prayer, you know, but because some expectations are not in line with his will. And when those expectations are not met, you are not meant to lose your joy. You are not meant, I am not meant to lose my joy. I should still have joy because my joy comes from God and it's not coming from my expectations being met. Did you get that? Our joy should come from God and not from our expectation being met. So instead of us becoming gloomy, counting the remaining days that is left in the month of December, Instead of us forgetting the season, you know, uh, you know the, the, the joy of the season, the birth of Jesus, which is coming few, in few days time, the Christmas season. Instead of us, instead of us becoming gloomy and forgetting all the good things that God has done since 2023 and you're only focusing on the expectations that have not been met. I'm here to tell you that your joy is in God and in not in those expectations that have not been met. So to this afternoon, I want you to lay down those on, on those expectations that have not been met. I want you to lay it down. And instead, I want you to pick up the joy of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says in Psalms 34 verse 5, it said those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. That's what God expects from you and I. Looking at him, making him our expectation. And not those things that we are seeking. And not those desires that we want. Many of us have made those desires our God. So because they have not been met now, you are glooming, you are complaining, you are feeling depressed. Instead of making God your God. So what God wants us to do is to look at him. To make him our focus. To let our expectation be in him. And then our face will be radiant. Our heart will be enlightened. We will have joy. Because that's what God has promised for us. Joy joy remember the scripture i started with the expectations of the righteous will result in joy but your expectation will only result in joy if you make god your focus and not those expectations your focus because there are some expectations that will not be met not because god cannot answer them but some of them are not in line with his purpose for our life but don't forget that the thought and the plans that god has for you and i is of good and not of evil so whenever he has not done anything just know that he's working something for our good let's have that trust in him and still pick up the joy he has given to us and not make those expectations our focus so we are here this afternoon even as we continue the time of worship to encourage you that even as the years roll into the end please don't get into the mood of depression don't get into the mood of anxiety because some expectations have not been met cast your mind back on the things God has done Focus on the greatness of your father. Focus on the greatness of God, being the only God that you know. Lay those expectations that have not been met at his feet and pick up the joy that he has for you. Pick up the joy that he has for you. Lay those expectations before him. Let God know that you have not made those expectations your God. That whether he does it or he does not do it, you will still praise him. Whether he does it, or he, do, or he does not do it, you will still have joy. Let God see that in you. Let God see that in me. So this afternoon, we're laying those expectations. Those expectations for 2023 that we have not seen, see, we have not seen the manifestation yet. We're just laying it at his feet. And we're picking up the joy that he has for us. And we worship him for who he is because he's the holy God that we know. And we still have joy. Whether the expectations are met or they are not met. Because we know and we are confident of one thing, that all things, all things, all things, all things are working together for our good. Because we love God and we are called according to his purpose. And we are confident that the plan and the thought that God has for us, ah, they are good thoughts. They are not of evil. They are not of evil. So just lay down those expectations and worship God. And have your joy. Have your joy because God has given you joy. Hallelujah. So we're just going to continue the atmosphere of worship. But we pray that this word has encouraged you to worship God. To praise him. To adore him. Don't make those expectations your focus. Make God your focus. Hallelujah. So we're just going to continue to worship and to bless the name of the Lord because we have joy. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 
joy overflows in my heart. I sing a new song to the Lord. Joy overflows in my heart. I'll sing a new song to the Lord. It's all the same with you today. Joy overflows in my heart. Sing a new song. I'll sing a new song to the Lord. Joy overflows in my heart. Tell me what will you do? I'll sing a new song to the Lord. Joy overflows. Joy overflows in my heart. I'll sing a new song. I'll sing a new song to the Lord.
God just dropped in right now. Hey, thank you, Lord. I sing for joy. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the song you just gave us now. Take that word, it's for you. All things, all things, absolutely all things, all things, all things, all things, I work here for your good. So you better sing for joy. <laughs> God has given you the message, sing for joy, because all things are working for your good. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Oh, sing for joy to God, our strength. Oh, sing for joy to God in your strength. Sing somebody for joy as a word for somebody I tell you. To Lay you off at the to office. God, to God, my strength. No matter that you are weak, that we are the best. I will sing. I will sing for joy. joy. Joy to God, to God, the maker of heaven and the earth. 
Jesus, we supply joy. We will sing. We will sing for joy. For joy to God. To God, our strength. We will stay. strength we will stay with God don't look back cause he Come. I will see. 
even in this season, your joy has come. I receive it. Your joy has come. I receive it. Your joy has come. I receive it. For the Lord is come. I receive it. Yeah. For joy to the world. I receive it. Yeah. For joy to the world. I receive it. Yeah, yeah. For joy to the world. I receive it. The Lord has come. I receive it. Yeah, yeah. Joy to the world. I receive it. Joy to the world. I receive it. Joy to you. Receive it. And your family. We receive it. We receive it. Oh, we receive it. something joy to the world the lord is come that hath received again let every heart be in room and ever the nature sing and ever the nature sing and a neighbor, a nature. You can see now, it's been announced through the angel to the wise men, to all the generation of the world that in this season, joy to the world, the Lord is come. Meaning, your joy is here. Your joy is here. It's been declared from heaven. Your joy is here. Your joy is here. My 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 joy is here. If you have Jesus. My joy is here. You have the joy. My joy is here. If you have Jesus. My joy is here. You have the joy. My joy is here. If you have Jesus. My joy is here. You have the joy. My joy is here. If you have Jesus. My joy is here. You have the joy. My joy is here. Maybe you are asking. They say, if you have Jesus, you have the joy. I'm not sure if I have this Jesus. Or I have it before, and I lost it. This is the opportunity for you to regain your joy. The Bible said the enemy, the devil, come to do only one thing, three things. To steal, to kill, and to destroy. When he does that, all he's trying to do is to take your joy away. For anyone that does not have Jesus, they already have their joy stolen. The God of restoration is here right now to return back to you your joy. Will you receive Jesus back? Or will you receive him afresh? Because in him, the Bible says, is fullness of joy. So wherever you are, you are listening to us right now. And you want to return back to your maker. The joy giver. The joy himself. The one that the angel announced saying, joy to the world. The Lord is come. That Lord is Jesus. The joy himself. So you can say after us, 
Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, the joy himself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That I left you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That I have not even had you in my life at all. I come tonight. I come today. To receive you back. Into my heart. I come today to receive you afresh into my heart. If you have prayed that prayer and you can send us a message, we'll be able to assist you to know more about this Jesus and about how to make this joy a permanent one in your life. Also, if you make this commitment this today, you can find a Bible-believing church very near to you that you can tell them you've received joy. In this season of joy to the world, that you receive him afresh or you receive him again, you rededicate your life to him and you receive the joy. And they will be able to help you to grow more and make this joy permanently. I don't know what you are going through right now like the sermon the teaching the short sermon says no matter what is going on with you don't lose your joy for there that remind me a song that said I still have joy I still have joy after all I've been through I still have joy I still have joy. I still have joy. After all I've been through, I still have joy. I still have joy. I still have joy. After all I've been through. I've still have joy. I still have joy. I still have joy. I've seen all I've been through. I still have joy. Don't lose that joy. Yes, you have Jesus. Devil is trying to tell you, ah, see, remember everything that you put forward in January. Only few have been asked. If we even tell you, none has been asked. This joy that you have, don't let the world take it. Don't give it away. But that is the joy of the Lord. That is your strength. Hold on to his word. That all things are working together for your good. Just hold on to that word. God is working all things for your good, for your good, for your good. You may not understand what a 
is happening But God's in the picture It's working for your good Hold on to the Lord He'll come through for you Hold on to His word It's working something out You may think it's late but to God it's not late When God steps in All things turn around Hold on to God Don't give up now No, no, no Hold on to His word It's not late, my sister. It's not late, my brother. The word, we mark calendars. It's just a calendar year that is ending. Do you know? <laughs> it's just a calendar year that is head ending. Hmm? You know, when the year is about ending, so much anxiety and fear comes so much in the hearts of a lot of us. But it's just a calendar year. Come on, say that to yourself. It's just a calendar year that is ending. The chapter is not ended with God, okay? He's working something out. So drop that expectation and pick up his joy. Ha <laughs> ha! Drop the expectation and pick up his joy. We're not saying that you should stop opening the Lord. That's not what we're saying. We're just saying don't make those expectations your God that you lose your joy. Okay, drop the expectations before the King of Kings and pick up the joy that the Lord is giving because it's working something out for your good. It's just a calendar year that is ending. No, hey, <laughs> it's just a calendar year. All right, don't put yourself under any undue pressure, undue anxiety from anyone. Don't let anyone put you under undue pressure. Don't let them tell you 2023 has gone. No, oh, how far? Hey. Tell them many far because God is involved hallelujah did you get that how far many many far <laughs> I don't really know what that means but I'm just calling that out because God is involved let's not allow ourselves to be put under undue anxiety and pressure because usually when it's getting close to Christmas season such things happen and so many people get into the point of anxiety they start doing things they are not meant to do they will now lose their faith Go after wrong things. Come on, don't go the alternative route. I don't know why this is coming through us, but it's a word that is blessing us as well. Let your expectation be on God and don't lose your joy. Over to you, sir. All
He never fails. Yes. Our God never fails. You will never ever change. You are the Lord. You remain the same. You have never ever changed. You are the Lord. You remain the same. the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. And no matter what, like the woman of God has said, all things are working together for your good. Amen. Maybe you're looking back, you're like, I didn't plan this year to be this way. But if you have not hold on to anything in today's worship session, just know the word of the Lord to you and your family is all things are working together for your good. Amen. It will end the praise. Amen. It will end in joy. Amen. And you will sing for joy. Amen. Oh, sing for joy to God. the edition of Worship at His Feet, which happens to be the last edition of Worship at His Feet in the year 2023. So we want to seize this opportunity to wish you and your family members a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. So we're going to sing, we wish you a Merry Christmas as we round up. Yes, we're going to sing, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We must give them the Christmas song before we end. So just know that in this season, it's a season of joy. Don't allow anything to weigh you down. 
your joy is in God. All right? Hallelujah. Let's sing. We wish you a merry Christmas. Anyhow. <laughs> I want to wish you a merry Christmas. From the bottom of my heart, I wanna wish you a merry Christmas. I wanna, I wanna wish, wish you a merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Let's sing to your about one. for us. <laughs> Christmas from the bottom of our heart. Thank you for joining with us in this year 2023 on every edition of Worship at His Feet. We're not taking it for granted that you do connecting and we also appreciating those that do share the flyer as well when you see us share it. May the Lord honor you and bless you. We are grateful to have you as part of our journey this year 2023. We pray for you that every of your heart desires in accordance to God's will shall the Lord do for you and your joy will not cease. In Jesus' name, we ask that you continue to pray for us as well and that you continue on this worship journey with us in the new year coming as the Lord unfolds more things through us to be a blessing to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you have not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, that's Damnella um, or your Wally YouTube channel, please kindly do so now. Your subscription matters a lot and we say thank you. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share the video. Thank you for your support. May the Lord reward you in the mighty name of Jesus. So once again, thank you for joining today. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy 2024 in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. Bye for now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me right now. The inspiration of this song came about by me watching one of my anointed pianists, Trigger Kings. So I just said, let me put some flair, some African style into this song. You know, we are the reason, we are the season of Christmas. And the only reason for the Christmas is Jesus Christ. He healed the world. Thank you, Fred Amon, for thinking, for bringing out this song, and we're gonna enjoy it together. You say, Red light, send us from glory. Man of things you heard on earth, our holy King, of carpenter, you are the living word. Red light.
accept you.